There is a lot of great things about public transport. It's relatively cheap, it's everywhere, and it's meant for everyone. However, that is not always the case. My name is Grace, let me tell you a story about my parents. Both of them lost their sight completely when they were six. Since then, they have to experience the world in a very different way. Using public transport is a challenge that they and 3.7 million visually impaired in Indonesia share together. All advocacy efforts on behalf of the visually impaired were aimed toward one goal, independence, independence to move, to travel, and to navigate in general. But we still need at least five years to have an ideal disability-friendly transportation in Indonesia. We believe that this is an issue that we need to address now. We came up with a solution that can help make navigating in public spaces easier for the visually impaired, with a goal to empower them and introduce permanent accessible means of transport we present to you Peta Netra. Peta Netra supports the visually impaired to navigate independently in public spaces using pre-recorded augmented reality paths. We create this AR paths using a supporting app called Peta Netra Map Editor. This app will be used by sighted users who care and want to help the visually impaired. Through this app, everyone can help the visually impaired by creating new paths or review and update the paths that have been created. Our system works by enabling everyone to collaborate in making paths. This created path will then be shared via the network to be used by blind user on Petanetra app. Let's have a look at how we can make this path using our editor app. In this video, we are on an MRT station. We make path using LiDAR powered iPad Pro and our app will study significant features of the location like walls, floor patterns and other objects. Along the way, we may find obstacles that may disrupt blind user's navigation. We can put markers on these obstacles that will then be informed to the blind user during navigation. Here, we mark a location where blind user will need to do some action. In this example, doing a mandatory temperature and security checks before entering the station. We can then continue making paths on other parts of the station. As seen in this video, a trail of crumbs were automatically added behind us. However, this is an option that you can turn on and off with a simple button click. We can then continue making path of the location and mark other obstacles and warnings in the location. The most important markers are for places or destination points. For example, a ticketing counter. We mark these places so that a blind user knows what's around them and can be navigated to these places. We can then save our work by adding some details like the name and address of the location. And that's how we create paths and markers on our editor app. Let's take a look at how the navigation works. Arahkan kamera belakang device ke ruangan secara potrait lokasi ditemukan. Our navigation begin by first detecting where a user is, and list all points of interest nearby. Users can then choose where they want to go, in this example to a ticketing counter or locket in Indonesian. With everything ready, we can now begin the navigation. Maju 18 meter, pertahankan arah device Anda. All of the information were delivered in a complete and informative experience powered by voiceover and haptic feedback. We also provide dynamic directional adjustments to make sure the user is going in the right direction. Penyesuaian arah, putar device Anda ke arah jarum jam 4 secara maju 3 meter, pertahankan arah device Anda. This is an example of how warnings can be informed to the users during navigation. Maju 10 meter, pertahankan arah device Anda. Peringatan, di depan Anda ada jalan licin. And that's it. Fast, accurate, and informative, all on our app. We use advanced technologies like augmented reality and LiDAR to ensure an easy and simple experience for the user. These technologies are part of a growing ecosystem developed to ensure accurate and accessible navigation for everyone. But this is just the beginning. Other technologies such as indoor mapping and iBeacon can be utilized in public spaces to create an even better experience in Petanetra. With indoor map data, we can improve our app's performance and iBeacon can be used to tag dynamic obstacles like closed door signs and others. 
All this can only be done with the cooperation of public space management, and we've taken the first steps towards this goal. To kickstart this collaborative effort, we are now working closely with MRT Jakarta. On December 3rd, 2021, we've showcased our work at an event held by MRT Jakarta to celebrate International Disability Day. For now, we limit the pathmakers to only us as the service provider. But we look forward to have you, or your organization, join us in our effort to make public spaces accessible for the visually impaired. Your effort to make paths will create direct impact in making public spaces accessible now. These are the faces behind Petanetra. My name is Alif, I am the project manager and part of our engineering team along with Jesse, Roni, Asti, and Yafon. There are Felis and Gaze as our designer team. We are Petanetra. You can try our app and get in touch with us by scanning the QR code on the screen. We're looking forward to have you join our effort to make the world better for everyone.